Hi there, it's Craig here, and welcome back to my kitchen, one of my favorite places to be. I love to do stuff in here. And today we're going to cook something very delicious. I actually learned how to do this from a neighbor of mine. Now it's a very simple thing. Okay, great for snack, great for lunch or dinner if you want to make it with something else. Um, my neighbor, who doesn't live here anymore, but when he was here, he called it chicken wraps. Chicken wraps, um, and I never really got the recipe from him, unfortunately. I, mean, I guess I could phone him and everything, but I started sort of getting impatient and just sort of figuring out how to do it on my own. So I'm sure that the way I'm doing, gonna do it is probably <clears throat> not the same way that he does it, but it's the same idea and it's quite, quite delicious. So here's what you are going to need for this. Of course, chicken. Now I'm only gonna cook a couple of these just for me today, but you could make more of these um, as many as you want. And of course, you just have to step up the recipe uh, to make more of them. But just try to proportion it the way I'm doing it and double it or triple it or whatever you have to do. So I've got the chicken breast, which I'm going to take out of the wrapping to get it ready. Okay. I've got a green pepper. Okay. I've got some grated cheese. All right. I've got an, a beat up egg. Whoops. Can you see that? There it is. Sorry. Okay. I've got salt and pepper. I've got some garlic powder. I've got some Frank's hot sauce. That's optional. You don't have to use it, but I like spicy. Okay. But you don't have to put that in. And I've got a little bit of milk here just in case. Being careful not to touch things because I touched the chicken. A um, little bit of milk just in case I need it. And you'll see why in a minute. And you need tortillas. Tor soft tortilla shells. Get the large ones. Okay. I've also got some cracker crumbs. I made these in my food processor. If you don't have a food processor, just go out and get yourself some dry bread crumbs. They'll work just the same. But um, we buy whole wheat bread and it doesn't work very well with this to make bread crumbs out of. So I made cracker crumbs today and that's what works for me. And that's it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're, I'm just heating up some oil here in this pan. Um, just gently. I don't want to get it too hot, but we're going to fry these in a minute. And I've got another pan here that's warming up. And we're going to put some oil in there. I'm using olive oil. Okay, just like that. There we are. And let that heat up a little bit while I get my chicken ready. Okay, so what you want to do, you can take the tenderloin out if you want. Doesn't matter. But just cut it. Cut it in half. It's a chicken breast. I buy chicken breasts on the bone. And then I debone them myself because it's cheaper. Um, but it's up to you. So just cut it into sort of, you know, pieces like that. One and a half inches, one inch, whatever. Sort of like that. Here we go with the little tender here. Just give it a little chop. And we have the other side here. All right? And just cut it. And just sort of bite-sized uh, pieces, right? Just about that size. That one might be a little big, so we'll cut that. And that. Uh, okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these in a bowl, like so. Let's put them in a bowl. Again, if you're doing more than one or two of these, then you're going to want to have more chicken and more of everything. I'm just going to wash my hands quick. Okay, so we got rid of all the chicken stuff and all the contaminated surfaces. Now what we can do is start with our um, seasoning our chicken. we got a little bit of popping sound going on there. So we're going to want to add a little bit of salt. Okay. A little bit of salt there. I use uh, kosher salt. A little bit of pepper. And a little bit of garlic powder. Whoops, wrong side. Ah, there we go. Just a little, just to season it up a little bit. Okay. You could use fresh garlic, but it's not really the kind of thing you want for this. You want a more of a marinade thing, but you know, whatever's, whatever's good for you. You can also, um, you could really put any kind of spices or herbs you want in here, but I'm just showing you how to do it an easy way. And it works very well. So it's just a simple one. But if you do know of spices like, you know, paprika, um, 
I don't know, uh, chili powder, anything like that. If you want to do a, an Indian style, and you know, an Indian dish, you put some cumin in. Okay, I'm just going to stir that. I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes while I cut up my pepper. Okay, now with the pepper, I'm going to cut sort of quarter inch or maybe half inch strips and then what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to make them into just little squares okay that's all you need okay so as far as how much peppers compared to how much chicken well just take a look at how much chicken you've got okay and you want about two-thirds of the amount of peppers okay I've got about one to one here but just roughly two-thirds the amount of peppers as compared to how much chicken you've got so I think we're ready to start frying this thing up. Let's go over to the frying pan and get to it. Okay, here we go. The nice thing about this dish is you can make as little or as much as you want. So you can make one, two, four, eight, you know, and just it, whatever you don't use, you can put in the fridge or even the freezer and make it another day. Let's crank that up a little bit. Now what you want is you want your um, chicken to start getting a little bit, a little bit brown. So try to keep your heat up pretty high. Kind of like a stir fry, all right? There, you see now, you see some of them are getting that little bit of brown on them. That's what you want. I'm going to turn my heat down to about medium high. I'm going to throw in my peppers. Okay. There we are. And I'm just going to add a little bit more salt just to give the peppers a little flavor as well. Keep them green. As I said before, you don't have to do this, but I like a little bit of spice in my thing, so I'm going to add a little bit of Frank's hot sauce. Actually, I'm going to add a lot, but you don't have to. It's completely up to you. And if you got kids eating it, then, you know, you certainly don't want to make it very spicy for them. Okay. Mmm, it smells so good. And this is so easy. I mean, how, how dead easy can this get, really? All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the cheese. I'm not going to add it at all. I've got some, as you can see, I've got a fair amount of grated cheese here. I'm only going to add half of it, okay? Turn your heat down so you don't burn the cheese. Just put it in there. go. Let that cook down for a bit. Let that melt. And here's why I kept some milk handy. I'm just going to put a little bit of milk in here. Not much. Just to let this all cook for a while and create like a sauce. Okay. That's going to take a few minutes to evaporate and become a nice thick sauce. Okay, that's exactly how you want it to be. Nice and saucy, but don't dry it out. I'm going to turn the heat off. Okay, just leave it there. Take it off the burner maybe. And here's what you're going to do. Okay, now the first thing you have to do is check your oil to make sure it's not too hot, not too cold, okay? So it's gotta be Goldilocks, right? So take some of your cracker crumbs or, or white bread crumbs and just drop them in and see what happens, okay? If they don't burn, 
then you're you're fine. But they have to fizz like that. It looks to me like it's just perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and start making my chicken wrap. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is get rid of that. So we're going to take our chicken cheese pepper mixture. Whoops, oh shoot, we don't want that. <laughs> take it and put it on the tortilla. Now you don't want to overload this, so you just want to put it don't like that. Maybe a tad more there. A piece there. Okay. Take some of your what grated cheese you've got left. Put it on top. Okay. And then you're going to roll it up. And here's how you roll it. You take the sides so that they meet in the middle, okay? And you, you bring the front around there. If you have to buckle it in the middle, that's fine. You roll it around like that. And that's how you do it. Now here's what you wanna do. You wanna brush your beaten egg on this part because that's gonna be your glue that's gonna hold it together when you get it in the pan. Okay, so you've got that. Roll it up nice and tight. There we go. Now what you want to do is you want to brush more egg on the outside. Okay, like this. This is what's going to allow your breadcrumbs to stick. So we can set that in the breadcrumbs here. And we'll brush more on the other side here. Right? Don't worry if it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get breadcrumbs nice and coated or cracker crumbs is what I'm using. And then we're going to put it into the pan and hope to God that it's not too hot. Put it down uh, where the, the, you know, where the side that you, you know, where the, the egg wash is. Put that side in first. And that way it will glue itself together. Okay. Now, you don't want to walk away from this. Everything's already cooked. Okay, so you just need to watch it and you don't want it to burn because it will burn very, very quickly. And prepare yourself with a um, paper towel on a plate so that you can drain it. We'll just flip that over. See it's stuck together and it's nice and golden brown. Watch yourself with this hot oil, okay? It's that easy. Okay, it takes about 20 seconds per side and I'm probably gonna do another one here. So if you get a couple of people, maybe your wife or somebody helping you with this, while this is cooking, you can make another one and you'll have a great thing. So. I'm going to take this off. I believe it's probably done. Not quite. So we can scoop more of our mixture into another tortilla shell or tortilla, soft tortilla. Oops, I'm trying to get so you can see that. Ah, there you go. Perfect. So it looks like one chicken breast will easily make two of these things. Let's get this off of here because we know that it's done. Look at that. That is going to be delicious. Look at that. So we're just going to let that drain out. We'll get another one on here. So we'll put some cheese on it. Like that. And if you don't like these things if you make them this way I would have you checked at the nearest doctor's office because they're so good fold the sides in and just wrap it up nice and tight right before you wrap it up put your 
Egg wash on there. Okay, bring, bring the sides in. Wrap it up. Just like that. The egg, not only does it, well, it helps to, uh, it, it, the breadcrumbs stick to it's the thing better when you've got the egg. I've tried butter as instead of egg malted butter, and the butter adds a nice flavor to it, but the egg uh, helps the breadcrumbs or the cracker crumbs actually stick to the uh, tortilla shell much better. It's like a glue. Okay, so just get that coated. And in it goes. Now if it sizzles like that, turn the heat down. Okay, because you don't want this to burn. And it doesn't take very long. Okay, you check it. Look, it's already done. So don't let them, honest to God, you, you can burn these things so easily. You might even burn the first couple of them. Well, once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's very, very easy. And there's no problem, and you're gonna love them. That should be ready to go. Oh yes, just in time. There we go. You have to be very careful when you're working with oil. Look at that. Does that look good? <laughs> Let's put these on a plate. So that's another dead easy recipe that you can do. <clears throat> it's absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try one. Oh yeah. Speechless. There's no words. It's so simple. It's, it doesn't cost a lot. Chicken's cheap. Tortilla shells are cheap. Green peppers are cheap. You can do, you can use beef. You can use pork. You could probably even do fish in here. You could put red peppers. You could put hot peppers. You could put anything you want inside of these. The idea is to show you that you can make these wraps, whether you use chicken or anything else. And you can add your own spices, your own flavors to it. Anyways, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go eat this stuff. Go watch some Star Trek. Thanks for watching Craig's Kitchen, and I hope you join me back again next time. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.